you know, one of the things that uh, we're asked a lot on a fairly regular basis is, uh, how did you learn how to do that? And that applies to a lot of the things that we do, like when we're on our sailboat, uh, we get asked, well, how did you learn how to sail? From visitors here, supporters of ours here at the farm, they ask us, well, how did you learn how to farm? I would have to say that the response to that question is simple at its surface, okay, uh, but has a lot of com a lot of meaning that goes really deep, okay. You know, the simple answer is learn how to sail on YouTube, uh, learn how to farm by uh, reading some books, uh, watching some videos, uh, getting some publications, and you know, diving deep into that underneath that the foundation of that is this mindset this uh this passion for learning new things and going and doing it and having the confidence deep inside of me to know that i can go there and i can learn these things and you are going to have to apply yourself every day every morning every evening on the job after the job before the job to teach yourself how to cope with and how to learn about the curveballs that life throws this way. Education is lifelong. Learning applies to doing. The key ingredient there is not the knowledge, it's the application of the knowledge, it's the doing. You first have to go and do the learning. And then, and then, really what it seems to be is the hardest part is applying it. I think that one of the most important lessons that I've learned about learning is doing. Because learning without doing, that's easy for me to get into is I love reading, I, wa I love watching videos. And you can feel productive while still going down this path of virtually doing nothing. You gotta start, you gotta start somewhere. And I think that the fear for starting something is the fact that you're gonna mess up. It's just inevitable. You're gonna screw up, but that's also how you learn. And I think that that's the way that you really learned how to do flowers in general. If I wanted to go into it with all of the information I could possibly absorb from reading books and watching videos, I could have pushed it off for another year, but I wouldn't have been able to get all of the knowledge from honestly messing up. So how did you learn how to do that? Well, we did it, and that's part of how we learn, is doing it, not doing it great, but starting somewhere, starting with even a little bit of knowledge, and learning from experience. And I think that that's probably one of the most valuable ways that we've learned how to learn. So if you've watched the video to this point, that means you've listened. And, uh, you know, we decided two episodes ago that we're going to take a different tact on this. And I think this is what it looks like. It's definitely not that clever. It's not that uh, flashy. Uh, but it's really what's on our heart. We see so many, so many people wondering what to do. And it just seems like just a little added bit of you know go get it go do it you know maybe a little little shove little nudge or maybe a kick in the ass <laughs> you know and my point is this if a schmuck hick like me in the midwest ohio can do it so can you and i don't even want to say though it's not that hard no it is it's hard going against the norm is hard go get it Go do it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Live your life. So, you know, I'm not even going to do the whole like and subscribe thing. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If you want to like the video, go for it. We're doing what our passion is, and we're going to leave it at that. So, peace, everybody. We'll see you next week. Than anybody else, the only thing... Pig just got shocked right on the nose. You, you want to read this, or what are you trying to do? Any camera time you can get. <laughs> <laughs>